guys, it's Margaret and I am bringing you a sales update video. It has been a while and um, the reason that it's been so long since I've done a sales video is one, my, my summer was crazy. I My business really slacked, my kids were home and so that's something that I will have to figure out before next summer gets here. Um, that's one and then also the last mm, three, four weeks or so I've really also been Focusing a lot on my merch account. I've got um, some videos about merch. I will link up here I think this that I'm pointing to the right side um, Basically, it's a shirt design passive income that type of thing So um, I've got a couple videos on that if you're interested about you know what it is and then I've got one on how I create shirts for merch so I've really been uh, focusing on getting those things um, taking or that taken care of because it's nice to get it set up and then you've got a bit of passive income coming in, which is nice. So, but I've also started listing some more, thankfully. I've been listing, but I've really tried to get myself listing even more. So, now I am and I'm going to knock my computer over. So, let me show you the things that have sold. I'm going ahead and just showing you everything that has sold since the last sales update that I did. And you can just take a look and see what I've got. And here we go. Let me situate these. All right, so down here you will see this is the spreadsheet that I use on Google Docs. It's nothing fancy. It doesn't have any um, formulas programmed into it. I get questions a lot about it. Um, Google Docs, it's under Google Drive, and it's free to create a spreadsheet or a document in there. And it's held in the cloud, the mysterious cloud. So um, this is where I, I put, you know, my item. Um, how I, how much I paid for it, my purchase price, this is the sold price, how much it was bought for, um, how much shipping I charged the customer, this is how much I, I paid for shipping, and then I used two calculators, I use an eBay final value fee calculator, and then there's another one I use for Etsy that I manually type in the numbers and come up with the, the profit, this is the net after all the fees and everything are taken out. So. Um, if you had any questions about where those numbers were or how I got this, this is what this is. So, all right. Moving on. So, um, this is one of the items that sold on eBay. This is a silver plated dresser set, um, and it's, it's pretty heavy. And I've ha I have this one, and then I have another one uh, that I got at a garage sale. I mean, this is like it was a garage sale from my dreams because I got some, you know. TI 83 plus calculators for super cheap. I got these sets for super, I mean, it was just a gold mine. I got an Atari, like a vintage Atari and a bunch of games and controllers, which I still have, by the way, because my husband is wanting to fix it and play it. <laughs> so it was 20 bucks for that thing with all the controllers and everything. I'm like, man, I need to sell that bad boy. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so this set I paid $3 for. I took a best offer of $15. So some people say, why does it say $36.49 up here? But then you say $15 down here. Uh, it's because I took a best offer. Sometimes the numbers will be different if it was on sale. Um, but I, this has been in my store for probably about a year. So I was ready to say, okay, I can take $15. So um, after shipping and everything, my net there was $9.51. So the next thing that sold were these two Coca-Cola polar bear koozies. I paid a quarter a piece for them at a garage sale. They sold, I'm guessing on sale for $14.24. Yeah, it must have been because that's a weird number. Um, and so after shipping and everything, my net was $11.45. Not too shabby. And here, this is a mini DVD. It was a tiny little thing. Um, I picked it up for 50 cents. Pardon me. It sold, uh, I took an offer of $7.99 on it, which is usually the lowest I like to go to make a profit there. And then after shipping and everything, my net was $6.95. And here are some Kenneth Cole sunglasses. I just listed these recently. Um, yeah, so these ones I paid $2 for. That's gonna bug me. There you go. Pay two dollars for, I took a best offer of $8 just because I, I put the $19.99 on it because I didn't know. I hadn't seen any and I was willing to make a sale at the moment, you know. I'm not I'm not tied to my numbers. So seven dollars and ninety-seven cents was the profit I made there. 
And then this is a fabric panel. I listed this back when we had our fabric challenge going on. And this one I paid a buck ninety nine for. It sold for fifteen ninety nine, and so after shipping and all, my net was twelve dollars and ninety eight cents. It was really pretty. I liked it anyway. You know, quilters or somebody can make it into a wall hanging Christmassy. And then this, I'm going to butcher this, Port Marion Daisy Round Dish, you know, Ramekin sold. Um, this was something that was my grandmother's. Uh, took a best offer of $9 and it, the net was $8.16. I bought this Tiki Farm squid brown ceramic shot glass, whatever, little tiki um, shot glass for a quarter at my local charity shop. It sold for $10.49 and that net me $8.25. And then these are some just plain silver tone cufflinks that I sold. Picked them up for a dollar and took a best offer of $13 on those. And that meant me $11.12. This is from that lot I got at the auction. It was a watch lot. It had like all these watch bits and parts and tools. And it came in that container. It was like wooden with a lid on it. Um, so this is one of the lots that I created from that and it was, where is it? Here it is. Um, I put, it was about $2 for each of the lots that I was able to pull from that. So it was about two bucks for this set. I uh, sold for $10, took a best offer because I have had it up for a number of months. Uh, so I was ready to be okay with letting it go. So I net $7.25 on that. And then this fella, I got him at an estate sale, and I was so tempted to keep him. I just loved him. I don't know what it is. I like stuff with the like the fox hunt look to it, you know, with the doo -doo -doo -doo, you know, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> so he was wooden, this figure. He was just cool. I picked him up for two bucks, I think. Let's see, yeah. Two dollars. I threw a high number on him because I just loved him, you know, and that's them's the perks, you know. So if he didn't sell, I could have kept him. So anyway, he did. I took a best offer of $29 on him, which net me $23.16. But I couldn't find anything like him out there. I mean, I looked and I really I couldn't find I couldn't find another figure like him. So I was happy to put a high number on him. And then this is another fabric panel that sold. It had two of these um, wildlife wreaths on it, and they're fabric, and you can make them into a another wreath. So I picked those up for a buck ninety nine as well. Sold for sixteen ninety nine, and that net me thirteen dollars and eight cents. Not too bad. And then this is another lot from that watch um, lot at the auction. They were these little tins and things, and this one sold. Where are we? Here we are. I picked up for two dollars. Sold for eleven ninety eight. Must have been on sale. So my net was $8.53. And then this was just from my recent uh, jewelry jar unbagging. And if you saw this, there were three of these little um, keychains like this. And they have these little knobby things on it. Let me point with the arrow so you can see. These little knobby things. And I couldn't figure out for the life of me, like, okay. And Randy said, oh, they go to something so you can separate all the keys out. Um, so there was the Pinocchio, and then I had Dumbo and Tinkerbell. So I originally thought I might lot them together, but then decided against it and sold them separately. And I'm so glad I did because Pinocchio sold. So Pinocchio, where did you go? So I put that I paid about 10 cents for him because he was in that giant bag that I paid $40 for. And there's more than 40 items in that. I mean, it just, I couldn't figure out it. I, I didn't, I wasn't gonna count them all up and do the average. So may have been a quarter, may have been 10 cents. It was not a lot, you know, and when you average it all out, how much he was. So <laughs> I took a best offer of $7.49 on him. So after shipping and everything, my net was $6.23. Not bad. I mean, that one little thing brought in, you know, a good portion of the $40 to make that money back, I think. And it wasn't even one of the wow pieces. <clears throat> okay, story time. <laughs> You know that I cross post things on eBay and Etsy and I generally create my listing on Etsy first because it takes me longer with all the tags and keywords there and then I copy and paste it over. Well, when I do that, 
I usually go to a cufflink set and I will do sell similar or something that's sold or maybe something that I have up. Well, I did that for this and didn't notice until I was about to ship it that the title doesn't match the, the listing. I forgot to change the title. Now down in the description box, I put the correct title that I had over here, you know, that I had on Etsy, you know, that it was initial DW cufflinks, blah, blah, blah. But up here, the, the title says vintage Art Deco cufflinks, uh, gold tone and pearl embellishment. So what I did, because, you know, you don't know if you're dealing with a person that is trying to get you, you know, because you, they can get an item not as described easily because I messed up. And so what I did was I messaged the purchaser, the buyer, and said, hey, I just noticed as I was getting ready to package this up that the title does not match the item. You know, the item is, as is pictured, the DW, and the actual title was in the description box, but I just wanted to let you know and uh, make sure that you're ordering the right thing and that I can cancel it if, if this is a problem. And they, you know, I was, and the thing is, like, luckily they wrote back, but if they hadn't, I was going to have to ship it because I have the 24-hour turnover with my shipping, so didn't have a whole lot of time to wait around. So luckily they wrote back and said, oh no, no, it's, it's fine. I wanted the DW, that's what I'm wanting to buy. So now whether or not that will protect me in the long run, if they decide like, haha, I'm gonna get that INAD anyway, who knows? But at least I'm showing that, hey, I, you know, I'm trying to make it right and throwing that out there to maybe put a little bit of a, a buffer there in case there's a problem down the line. But as I say, it could still happen, but I had to at least let them know. And then there's a record also for eBay that, hey, okay, I, I messed up and I tried to give them an out. So it'll show that they chose to go ahead and get them, even though they knew the item in pictures. I mean, I, I still think it's iffy. I don't know how much protection that would give me, but they were fine. Okay. So these ones, um, I paid $2 for them. It may have been less because these also came in a lot that I won, I think at the auction, um, but I couldn't find the, in my spreadsheet, I couldn't find it. So I went ahead and just put $2 on it. My, uh, I took a best offer of $20. This is going through global shipping, which is one of the reasons I, I didn't have a problem bringing it down. And you know, you're waiting for that DW to come along. <laughs> When's the next DW coming? I don't know. So I, I was happy to, to do that. So 20 bucks, uh, they, after shipping and all, my net was $16.41. So pretty good. Love those men's accessories. This box, this little hand-painted porcelain box, uh, was in my grandmother's collection. This is one of her friends. She, she had a bunch of China painter friends. And so I paid zero for it. It sold for $24.99, and that uh, net me $21.77. So I hope they love it. And then these sold, yay, the kitty ones. And I've had them for over a year, but I fell in love with them um, when I saw them. I paid $2. These are Christmas cats placemats. They're fabric. Somebody made them homemade. There's four. And I, when I saw them last year, I was like, oh my gosh, these are wonderful. But they didn't sell last year. They sold this year. That's fine though. So I paid $2 for the lot of them. They sold for $14.99, and so my net there was $10.63. So those were the sales on eBay um, since my last sales update. Let's see, the total from eBay, I'm copying this so I can. All right, so my net for my sales on eBay since the last sales update was $183.45, which, you know, is not too bad seeing as I haven't been putting a lot of attention towards it. I mean. What you focus on expands, that's for sure. So my merch is expanding right now. My Amazon has been declining a bit, but you know, that's to be expected. Alrighty, so now let's take a look at the sales on Etsy. And here we go. Am I going in order? I don't think so. Something's missing here. Oh, I know what happened. Let me find, I'll come back to that. Here we go. All right, so this is one of those vintage uh, wall hooks, the accordion hooks. Um, these have started to sell again, yay, because I have a bunch. So this one sold, I picked it up for two bucks, sold for $24.99, and after shipping and all, my net was $19.76. And I saw one, if you guys have World Markets near you, I saw one of these at World Market for like 
So I have, I don't feel so crazy asking for 25 anymore. Cause it, yeah, whatever. All right, these glasses sold, vintage Titmus Aviator, la-di-da, paid $2. They sold for $44.99. They went overseas, so my net there was $44.08. There's a lot, the, the fees are a lot smaller on, or, you know, lower on Etsy, so I love it. This is some of that vintage wrapping paper from that lot that I got a bazillion years ago. No, it wasn't, it was last year. But, uh, you know, where it averaged out where each one was like 10 cents. I got it at the auction. So this was one sheet of vintage wrapping paper. I put steampunk in there, Edwardian, etc., because it just had all of these, I mean, yeah, all of this stuff going for it. Sold for $12.99. Um, I put, you know, it, it averaged out to be about 10 cents for each sheet. So my net there was $12.88. And then this is a teensy little uh, tie bar. It was so small, little bitty tie bar that's, I was not sure it was going to sell, honestly, but hey, there it is. Paid 50 cents for this, and it sold for $14.99, which net me $13.87. So I encourage you, even though I know it's part of my niche, niche, that you look at those men's accessories because you can get them for cheap and flip them for good money. So here we have this, oh my gosh, these ones won't sell quick enough in my book. Um, I will probably never buy them again. These are, they're bosons. I'm not sure I'm saying them right, but they're this chalkware figures. And I've sold, you know, when I first got them, I sold some pretty quick, which made up, I mean, I bought a lot of them for like $12 at the auction. And there were, I don't know, eight or 10 of them there. Some sold fairly quickly. The others are still here. The problem is that they're so fragile that if anything like bumps up against them, the finish comes off and that white chalk shows underneath. So like storing them is just like, don't, nothing touches them. Don't touch it. You know, so they're stored in these like flat boxes. Nothing can go on top of them. I can't, I mean, it's just, oh. so I'm tempted to just donate the, the last couple that I've got and just get them out of here because they're taking up space and irritating the life out of me. But this one sold. So yay. Uh, paid $2 for him because in the lot, you know, you know, I'll average it out. So, <laughs> sold for twenty four dollars, twenty four ninety nine, and that we nineteen seventy six. That's that's good. No, that's not even the right thing. Oh my gosh, I'm on the wrong line. He sold for fourteen ninety nine, and that that net me uh, sixteen thirty seven because the shipping was a little wonky. <clears throat> Alrighty, now these were also my grandmother's collection, and this was a multiple like a listing where they had to choose one. So the only one that sold there was the Tiger Lady. Um, so Tiger Lady sold for a $19.99 and that is, was from my grandmother's collection. So my net there was $21.46. I need to look at that because the shipping was way more than it should have been. And I don't like to, I mean, I don't mind going over a bit, but that's about, that's a lot. So I'll look at that. And then here, so I've got some patterns that started selling. Yay. Patterns are so cheap and especially costume ones seem to do well. So especially this time of year, I'm saying especially a lot. So here we have this simplicity pattern I picked up for a quarter. It sold for $12.99, which net me $12.25. This was a thimble that was in my grandmother's collection and uh, it sold for $10.99 and that net $10.63 for me. Very pretty. And then this one was also in a, a lot of jewelry that I got. I think it must have been a bracelet lot. I've had it for a while. Uh, paid a dollar. It sold for $24.99, which I'm glad I waited. You know, I wasn't, wasn't sure about it, but it, it did okay. So <laughs> that net me $23.20. Okay, that's good. <laughs> All right, here's some more. Let me get back to my order again. These ones have been listed for a long time, too. These were in a lot, these clip-on Coro earrings. You can tell how long they've been listed. That the, pho the photography in them is not so great. I didn't clean those pictures up like I should have. So, uh, paid a buck for these. They sold for $12.99, and that net $11.50. And the rest are some patterns. Um, this is like a christening gown pattern. This I picked up. The rest of the patterns all picked up for a quarter. 
This one sold for $17.99 and that's $16.92 coming to me. And then these, I was so tempted to keep this one because I love, you know, I, I sew. So I was like, oh, maybe I can make these little seals with this kitty cat. That's so cute. Um, this one sold for $12.99 and net me $12.25. And then the last pattern is another uh, costume pattern. And this one sold again $12.99 and net $12.25 as well. All right, so my sales on Etsy totaled $227.42, which makes my total for both platforms $410.87. So not too bad. I mean, it's, I tried to get, you know, about $250, $200, $250 a week, which I did not make because this is not for just a week. This is for much longer than that, you know, maybe three weeks. But like I say, I've been doing a lot more on merch, but now I am focusing on my eBay and Etsy to get ready for Q4 and get some of that Amazon stuff sent in that I have as well. Thanks so much for hanging out for the sales update video. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe. I uh, make videos about reselling, about uh, making money online, and sometimes I do fun unboxings and other silly things as well. So again, thank you for watching. Leave a comment down below and let me know what was your favorite thing that sold, maybe something surprising. Have you dabbled with men's accessories yet? Let me know what you are selling and I will talk to you next time. Bye guys.